So everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life. Well, hello for the first time today. Chilly morning here in New Zealand. Woke up this morning, minus 5.6 degrees. So yeah, it's a bit chillier than usual. So I'm all rugged up and yeah, I will try and do some good shooting, but it is a bit tight around me. Um, however, what are we gonna do today? Well, I splashed out and I bought myself something. What did I buy myself? I bought myself a new grip for my bows. And you might think, why would you do that? Well, the grip that comes with my Nika ET15A and my Protoss, I love them, don't get me wrong, but I reckon that I could, if I could get a bit more up angle on the grips themselves, they would be absolutely perfect. So I went to R-Call Grips. Now they do a grip for the ET15A, which I have here. So I got the grip, put it on. It's got some other nice things on it, and I'll do a close-up of these and in, uh, an in-depth view in a second. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this and see how I feel with it. So stay with me and let's see what happens. So here is the box that the grips came in, and as you can see tells you what's inside, what you ask for. So let's open it up and for the riser of course, see what we get inside. So here's the box, I've taken it out, got one hand and this is what we get inside. You get a nice little keychain of your riser. You get a little card, QR code, which I don't know what it is, just to tell you what's it and just some places you can go to have a look and then you get the grip itself and the grip itself is this is a hard plastic one um, to fit my riser two holes either side it's got the nice R core uh, sign on there and as you can see 3d printed and yeah fits in my hand quite nicely and as you can see, this is the green one. The red one is on my other bow and I've been shooting it already and I really like it. So let's take this outside, shoot it and see what we get. Oh yeah, sorry about the noise. Um, there's something going on in the background. So here we are. This is the Arcor grip. It's got the nice Arcor logo on it. This one's in red. You can get it multitude of colors. Just go on the website and different materials as well. They do wood, they do a plastic like glass. They do this, which is just plastic, and they're 3D printed. Now, the good this is called the Master. It is designed for recurves with a high grip. They do high, medium, and low, so you can get whatever you want. It's got a raised pattern, a pyramidal pattern for where it sits into your hand, and also a lifeline ridge, so you can actually feel it when it's sitting in your hand. Now, I did shoot this yesterday for the first time at 70. Um, and I thought it was very good. So here I am at 18. Now I've bought two, a red one and a green one. Now I was going to put the green one onto my uh, ET11 Pro Toss riser, but it doesn't fit because these two bows are different. However, it does fit onto my T-Bow or Junksing H7, which I've got it on at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll give this a shoot and then we'll go onto my Junksing and see how that is as well. Sun's coming out and it's warming up, it's nice. What I can say is that it sits in my hand a lot steadier. It, that higher grip itself, I, I, how I hold the bow, I must have a, a low grip or a low wrist is what they call it. So I need that, that, it's at 45 degrees. But you can get it in any uh, high, medium and low. I think they call this high. It 
just feels a lot more stable. Are they cheap? Not really, but they are made for you. So they do make a difference. Now I'm not saying that the grips that you get on some bows are bad. Those Nika ones I've got allow me to score a 524 yesterday on a thing called a short Chicago. So 18 meters, 60 arrows, scoring zones 9, 7, 5, 3 and 1. So the most you can get is 540. I got a 524 and that shocked me. So I love the, the grip on those. But this is... Yeah, nice. It's a slightly different shape at the bottom as well, it cuts in, so you can actually feel it on your lifeline, which is which I like. That was me <laughs> doing that. It's difficult to feel when I'm all rugged up. That was a pants shot. Better. So that is the ET15A with the Arcor grip. Now, let's shoot the Junction H7 with the Arcor grip. It's at a slightly lower poundage and see how that goes as well. So here's the H7 with the Arcor grip, exactly the same grip. Everything on it's the same, it's just green and it fits on here pretty well. So this is slightly lower poundage. Um, yeah, let's see what happens with this one. Again, just fits in the hand beautifully. Now I am, um, I need to adjust my, uh, uh, clicker on this slightly because it is tough to get through the clicker on this. I haven't really set this bow up. it when I have to try and pull through a clicker better that was lovely Considering I've just thrown this bow together and there's not a lot of weight on it, this grip is really, really helping me keep this 
this this Boeing stable. Hopefully you can see at that end, those last couple of shots since I adjusted that clicker have been, I think, virtually all within the gold. That was just a high one. My fault. Arrows go where you aim them. Funny, this H7 feels it's a, it's difficult to say it's not deader but not as reactive as my Nika bows I don't know if it's to do with the aluminium that Junxing uses but it doesn't it's it's not as alive I prefer the uh, the Nika bows to this because they give a bit more they're dead don't get me wrong there's very very little vibration but uh, yeah this grip fantastic I would say maybe a fraction it holds steadier in the hand and it's a lot better than the I used to like the, the grip that came on this bow this H7 but this is miles better and these arrows are flying beautifully I'm really surprised Last three arrows, gold, gold, gold. 40 centimetre target, 18 metres. <sighs> yeah, and it's not the bow, it's the grip. <sighs> so those are cool grips. Um, will everyone get on with them? Maybe not. Um, in fact, I let someone at my club yesterday have a feel of the bow and they didn't like it at all. But you can get different things on them. Go on the website, you can have a look. Different materials, different styles. Jake Kaminsky actually has made some for them or given them a design for them. But uh, overall, I think the Arcor grip on my uh, Nika ET15A with the M3 Pro limbs is gonna be really good for me after seeing how I was shooting at 70 meters yesterday. So I'm happy with that. That's the bow that I'm gonna take to competition. Uh, the lightweight droid, the ET11, is the one I'm shooting in our postal competition because it's light uh, draw weight and I'm only at 18 meters and it's getting me some really, really good results. However, I can say that I paid for those Arcor grips myself and I love them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, all the other good things YouTube wants you to do. Um, if there's anything you want to see me do with any of these bows, Please let me know and as i've said i've only just thrown this h7 together and i'm shooting golds quite a lot down that end so really happy with that i will catch you next time keep shooting enjoy the weather if you've got it um a bit chilly here but it's warming up nicely i will catch you next time bye bye for now mm -hmm.